All right, ladies and gents, here we have it. Today's test drive car is a 2019 Mustang GT convertible with the digital dash and the leather seats and the 10 speed automatic. I'm pretty sure it's a 2019. Uh, yep, March 19. Right there. Brand new, only 11,000 miles on it. Um, one thing I noticed that's different than my car, look how low the suspension is. It's only probably a one and a half inch gap from the wheel to the arch. And the wheels are only 18, so if you get 20 inch wheels, it'll look really good on this car. And on top of that, I will say I'm not a huge fan of the look of these wheels. And I didn't think I would like a convertible, but I actually like driving with the top down in this. It's not my favorite looking Mustang. The 2013s and 2014s definitely have a better, more aggressive front end. This one looks like a fish that's kind of angry. But I will say this, the 5.0, I have driven it before in a manual. It's very impressive. But this is the first time that I'm driving the 10 speed automatic. And I will say that that 10 speed is impressive. It is, it shifts really fast, way faster than I can shift in a manual. The manual is definitely more engaging, but this shifts really fast. The seats versus my 2012 Mustang are way more bolstered. They're not super bolstered, not as bolstered as the Dodge Challenger stocks cloth seats, but pretty good. It has a very nice interior. And it has the 5.0, which I am not going to bother to show you because if you're watching this video, you've probably already watched 20 different Mustang videos and you already know that the 5.0 is an awesome engine and you already know that on these new Mustangs, the engine cover looks like trash. You do get the badge and some, I don't know, like fake carbon fiber looking stuff. But watch the startup, listen to this. Oh yeah, like that. And you do get different steering modes and different driving modes. So you got normal, sport plus, track, which turns off traction control. And then you've got drag and then you've got snow. So I guess you got more than, you got a few. Now the engine, I will say, the engine does not sound as impressive as the, um, I'm sorry, the exhaust and the engine is not as impressive as what it is in the Dodge Charger RT. That sounds way louder, way more aggressive. I'm sorry to hurt all of you Mustang fans, but the, the Charger sounds amazing, even the 5.7. Listen to this. See, that's me revving it. And it sounds good. Sounds good for a stock exhaust. But I will say that on a scale of one to 10, I give it like a six. Whereas the Charger, I give it like an 8.5. I have got way more leg room than I do in my 2012 Mustang that has the leather and it has the shaker stereo system. So my radio is better than this, but this is a nice looking radio. And as I said, the 10 speed is brutal. It shifts really quick. Um, I'm gonna do some not to 60 pulls. And oh, look at that sport mode. Sport mode where you can shift with the paddle shifters. Yeah. Anyway, 
I'm gonna take this for a little spin, do some not to 60 pulls, and uh, I'll be back with you in a second. All right, so I've been driving for about 25, 30 minutes. The uh, 10 speed when you're downshifting in sport mode is very jerky. That's one thing I noticed, and also, I've noticed that I can't really get good traction to get a good knot to 60 time. The best I've got so far is six seconds flat, which is slower than my V6. And I'm getting a lot of wheel spin. But listen to the noise. What's the speed? It is not bad at all, but I'm telling you, that wasn't me trying to get to not 60. That was just me giving it a little gas, but I really am struggling getting to 60 miles an hour. It's weird. Actually, I'm not getting to 60, but I'm struggling getting to 60 fast. I mean, the Charger had 20 inch rims, much bigger tires and it seemed like it got grip a lot quicker and my fastest knot to 60 in that was I think 5.1 so I'm not sure why a car that is close to 100 horsepower more is struggling to get to 60 in the fives so this is not the best place for it. I'm not on a country road like I was before. By the way, the infotainment and everything in this car is very nice. It is very nice, I will give it that. The one in the Charger is also nice. I really like Dodge's new infotainment systems. I actually like it more than this one. But yeah, I am struggling for traction, bruh. But this car, once you're going, once you're going, it's way faster than the, than the Challenger. I keep saying Charger. I meant Challenger. This car makes a good noise. Not as good a noise as the Challenger, but it makes a good one. And I'm not really a huge fan of digital dashes. I prefer more of an analog dash or analog and digital. Analog being in the middle. But uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And this is my hotel. And I think we're at the wrong location. I think. Haha, <laughs> which is funny. All right, I gotta go. Gotta end this review and find the right spot.